Hi everyone, my name is Daniela Padilla. I am an academic preparation specialist with the Early Academic Outreach Program at UC San Diego. So I wanna start off by congratulating all of the seniors who have been receiving college acceptances. Um, in today's video, we're gonna talk about financial aid packages, which you should also be receiving along with your college acceptances. So what we'll be covering today is how to actually access your financial aid package. We're gonna talk about the cost of attendance. We're gonna be breaking down the different types of financial aid awards. And we're gonna talk about something called the net cost. And finally, we're gonna talk about how you should compare your different financial aid packages. So to access your financial aid package, you're actually most likely going to create a student portal. And this is gonna be done for every university that you get accepted to. Um, some universities may have already had you create a student portal because you've already applied to them. If not, then for sure when you get your acceptance, they will send you some identification information and they'll ask you to log on to their student portal. It's gonna take a while for you to accomplish this because you're gonna need to do things like create a username and password, verify your identity, and then you're gonna have to actually go and find the correct screen where you can view your financial aid package. So make sure that you're patient and you navigate through all of the steps once you finish creating your username and password, go ahead and just find the correct screen where you can view your financial aid award, okay? So the next step is gonna be figuring out the cost of attendance. So the cost of attendance is usually an estimate of how much it's gonna actually cost for you to study at the university. This should include things like your tuition and fees, your housing, your school supplies, transportation, um, any living expenses, so it should be all inclusive of how much it will cost for you to go move to the city where your, your university is and how much they'll charge you to actually study there. Um, some financial aid packages already have this estimate for you right on the financial aid package. For example, if you're looking at a UC uh, financial aid award letter, it will most likely tell you the estimated cost of attendance is, and it usually hovers around $30,000. So just make sure that whatever financial aid package you're looking at, that it is all inclusive of the various things listed on this slide, okay? So once you've actually figured out how much your, the cost of attendance is, you're gonna actually look at the different awards that you've received in your financial aid letter. So there are three different types of financial aid that your award letter will talk about. There's gift aid, which is money that you don't have to pay back. And gift aid is things like scholarships and grants. So scholarships can come from various sources. It can be private scholarships, or it can be, for those of you that play sports, sports-related scholarships. Those will be included in your financial aid package. Um, there's also grants. So some popular grants, for example, are the Cal grants, which are California state grants. Um, there's also a federal Pell grant. And in some cases, the university might give you a grant as well. So this is all money that you don't have to pay back. So very, very important. Add up all of that money that you've received and total it at the bottom. The next section that we're gonna look at is loans. So loans is money that you borrow that you will need to pay back. What's important about loans is there's two main types of loans. There's subsidized loans and unsubsidized loans. So subsidized loans, typically when you take out a loan, it begins accruing interest. But with subsidized loans, the federal government is paying your interest while you're in school. So that way you're not responsible for that additional interest on the loan until you graduate and you start paying back the loan. So if you need to take out loans, you should always look to take out subsidized loans first. Then there's unsubsidized loans. So unsubsidized loans means that the minute that you take out the loan, it begins accruing interest and you are responsible for paying that back. The good thing is that you don't need to start paying loans back until you've graduated, okay? So loans total up how much they're offering you and total that at the bottom. So now there's a work study. Work study is a federal program where you are working and earning money through a job. So it's not any kind of upfront gift or upfront loan. Um, you actually are earning the money as you work. So that's also included in, as part of your financial aid package total. So you total all three different types of financial aid and then at the very bottom, you add those all together, and that is your total financial aid package, okay? 
now that you've looked at the different types of financial aid um, in your award for one school, we're gonna look at the net cost. The net cost is essentially what you and your family is gonna have to actually pay using your own resources to study at the school. So the net cost, we calculate that by having the cost of attendance minus your total financial aid award. So do you all remember we added up your three different types of aid that you're getting to come up with the total? So now we're gonna actually subtract that from the cost of attendance and that's what's gonna be the net cost. So for example, if your cost of attendance is estimated to be around $30,000 and your total financial aid package was $28,000, that means that you and your family have a net cost of $2,000. So you and your family are gonna to have to figure out how you pay those $2,000 to the university. It can be through money that you earn while working, it can be money that you have saved, but it's gonna be money using your own resources, okay? And typically the net cost should be similar to your expected family contribution. If it's not, contact your financial aid office at the school, but typically it should be about the same. So now that you've done all of this work for just one school, you're gonna have to do this for all of the schools that you've been accepted to, because each school that you get accepted to gives you a unique financial aid package. And that can be because some schools give you more grants, some schools give you, offer you more loans. So it's very important to do that entire process with each school. And so to actually compare financial aid packages at, from each university that you're accepted to, I recommend that you not only look at your total financial aid package, but you actually look at the different types of aid. Because one school can give you a financial aid award of $30,000, but it's gonna be $20,000 in loans and then $10,000 in gift aid. Another school may give you also $30,000, but it's gonna be $10,000 in loan and $20,000 in gift aid. So these are very important things to consider. It's not just the total that you should be looking at, it's also which school is giving you money that you don't have to pay back and which school is offering you a lot of loans. So very, very important. So finally, just some things to keep in mind. You should be looking at how many years a grant is conformed for. So there are a lot of universities who will offer freshmen uh, a grant in their first year and their first year only. So it kind of, uh, boost your total financial aid package, but only for that first year because that grant may not be for every year that you're in school. So make sure that you know how many years a grant covers, okay? Especially if you know that you're going to be taking maybe more than four years at a university, if you're going to take five to six years, make sure that you are aware of how long your grants cover your study, okay? You should also be aware that your financial aid package can change. So if, for example, you receive a private scholarship and you report that to the university, they could shift your financial aid package around a little bit. Also, if the university has extra money at some point in the year, and they can choose to disperse that and give you additional aid. So just be aware that it can change. And if anything too funky happens, contact your financial aid office. Also, almost all students are eligible for these non-need-based types of aid. That's aid like the federal unsubsidized loan, which is that loan where the interest starts occurring the day that you take out the loan and then a parent plus loan, which is not a loan necessarily for the student, but it's a loan for the parents and any private loans from banks, for example. So if you feel like your financial aid package is still not enough to cover your cost of attendance, go ahead and reach out to your financial aid office and ask about these non-need based types of aid. That is all we have for you today. If you have any questions about your financial aid package, I highly, highly recommend that you contact the financial aid office at your school. Um, I also, we are available uh, to help you as well. We can, you can find our contact info at eaop.ucsd.edu. Thank you.